Till Miller Coors is giving Miller Chill a makeover. JS on air now. We're joined by Milwaukee Journal Sentinel business reporter Tom Dakin. So, so Tom, what exactly is changing? It's all about calorie count. It is. It, it's partly about fewer calories, and it's also about more lime. And this started two years ago when Miller Brewing came out with Miller Chill, which was a, a light beer that had hints of lime and salt. It was a big success. They sold about 500,000 barrels in the first year, and that's really good for a new beer. Then a year ago, uh, Anheuser-Busch came out with Bud Light Lime, which had a stronger lime taste than, than Miller Chill, and Bud Light Lime did very well and Miller Chill's sales uh, suffered in comparison. So now, basically, Miller Coors is gonna come back and they're gonna try and out-lime Bud Light Lime by reformulating Miller Chill to have a stronger lime taste and to cut the calories down to about 100 calories. That puts it under what it had been and it puts it below Bud Light Lime. And the folks at Miller Coors are hoping that that helps uh, refuel sales for Chill. Uh, Tom, I'm wondering, and I, you may have already answered this, but why hang on to this name uh, given that, that the sales ha have slipped so badly? Is it they've just got too much invested in the, in the name? Well, I think the name, I think they believe the name still has uh, some strength to it. Uh, 500,000 barrels is, is really nothing to, to dismiss. And there is a market for it, clearly, because people bought Bud Light Lime, and I think that the folks at Miller Coors figure, if people want more lime, we'll give them more lime, we'll give them fewer calories, we'll make, make a success of it. Yeah, I think the fewer calories might ring a bell with, <laughs> with a lot of the ladies <laughs> drinking beer. Well, and some of the men, too. Right. right. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. And you can read more of Tom Dakin's topic at jsonline.com, and we've got a link on our website, todaystmj4.com.